His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Stick together. It'll all work out. Now here's a manly one. Not like my good for nothing, Sven. <laughs> Friends we show heart, foes we show our acts, remember that. Thanks, mate. Farrell, you know the place. I've me forge there. Come and visit. I'll have a reward for you. Damn, you're ugly.
Verona Bran. Horrific death. Worries like a boat needs ballast. The same. His long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. and pearl hunter. There you are, your coin. Earned every last bit. Never have done it without you. Was it worth it? I think so. Aye. I suppose Letta likes it. What? Did she say something about what you did? Letta? No, she don't say much of anything anymore. Hasn't for a while. See, uh... Sick. Something. Something's not right in her head. Started with a memory, she'd forget things then. Then she stopped recognizing the folk, even me. And now. Now, she don't even speak. Thought if she saw the pearl, something'd wake inside her. You know. 
We talked a lot about that stupid promise. It, it was our joke, just ours for years, but no, no, it didn't work. Sorry. As am I. Farewell, Geralt. Gods guide you the path. Rain pause. Ruffians in town. Scandalous. Damn it! Can't hear a blasted thing! Last chance to surrender on orthodox books. Grimoires and tracks were spinning the section like a specialist. Thinking punishable by death. Duck your salvation. Your performance was magnificent. <laughs> Tolerance and superstition have always been a fool. Be a butcher when I'm big. Don't stare. Oh, I need a belt set with silver stuff. I'll let it for the next one. Oh, what a freak. Help, oh, poor black cat. Reek. You're an artist, a sword swallower. No, a witcher. Mm, never heard of that. What did the cook make today? Farewell. What the hell took you? Pretty likely Keratin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Mm. Learned something too. He trades in uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Salise? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. All right, let's pay Carrot in a visit. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards. 
or taking a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop her dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. It remains to be seen. My friend needs to talk to you. Lads, take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Nice place you got. As it turned out, I have a flair for enterprise. Now I have coin enough to provide my family with the finer things in life. With some left over for philanthropy. Miss Marabella's institute does not scorn small donations. Neither does the city's Widows and Orphans Relief Fund amongst others. Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day, with a clean slate. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander, guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him. We were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? Know what, Keridan? Your remorse? It's feigned. Completely dishonest. You put on a good show, but I just don't believe you. Don't even know why we bothered with this chat. We came here to kill you. Do what you want, Lambert. Your friend, your vengeance. Been waiting a long time for this. And I don't aim to die. Thanks for your help, Geralt. You're welcome. Want to talk about it? No. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert. Let's go! 
Heard that at the chaplain. You go your way. I'll go back. Not so fast, Roach. Perhaps that new Free thing. boy. What do I gotta do to get a lovely pallet like yours? It, Roach. Now, witches, they can't catch the pox, isn't that right? You troubled me, Greylocks. Swords up, heave ho! Smash the black ones, kill the foe! Swords back, heave high! Today the black ones, heads will fly! Swords down, heave out! You've got blood of streaming spouts! It's all over. I aim to open a whorehouse in Vizima. A proper one. With shaggy rugs on the walls and foul-smelling candles everywhere. You want in? What kind of contribution are you looking for? Well, just manpower. Or woman power, as the case may be. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. What do you do here, Hunt Scoyatel? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoyatel anymore? Temeria, that's what matters. How do you wind up here, 
Came with the army, of course. Its remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the Second Temerian Army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis's army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than a year. So I decided I would mount my own fight. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm. It's Verse. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulberdale. So? Sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes. When they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Don't trust Vess anymore? Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. Ah, oh, that's not the problem. Now what distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler? The uniform. It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, when to charge and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out, she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. Why Mulberry Dale? Why'd Vess go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. Alright, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me in Velen beneath the hanged man's tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. True, you kill kings. You and our commander. Oi, clumsy ass. Now, witches, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? We'll pay for it. It's true, you kill kings. You and our commander. Move it. Fuck. You know Gerard? Fellow from the hills outside town. Beware. 
Why do you even care? You're in a military operation zone, and our job's to collect the war tax. Look more like you're collecting for a round of vodka to me. I wonder I do. Will you be that cheeky when we accuse you of spying? Now shut your trap and pay. Not about to give you a copper. Told you he was a spy. We're gonna arrest you in the name of good King Radovid. You can always try. What's going on here? Reporting the capture of a suspicious individual, sir. A spy. A witch would make as good a spy as you'd make a chaperone. I catch you extorting coin again, you'll go straight to the front. The Eastern Front. And you, Witcher, best give these parts a wide berth. Thanks. Farewell. Fuck. What are you looking at? to death on three pounds of steel. It's the village below. Black with Nilf guardians already. They're preparing to execute folk. No sign of this. Ah, she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. She's waiting for her moment. Probably attack after dusk once. Shh. What now? A trio, lightly equipped, sneaking closer. Over there, near the. Death to the black ones! Help me, Sirka! Looks like we're too late. Geralt, we have to help. Follow me. Thank <laughs> you. 
that! Damn it, Vess. Have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and whatnot exposed. You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Melitale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your money. You'll get it back when you wise up. If you wise up. Move out! Ren. <coughs> 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 Uh-oh. Got yourselves a prisoner. We don't take prisoners. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did, and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. Roach is right. Besides, killing a defenseless... What is it with you, Roach? Did the Witcher take your stones? They're sadists. He's the occupier. I will explain later. You, Nilfgaardian, piss off. Morentai. Nes dirmad ava. Go, before I change my mind. Ah, we should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help, you know where to find me. <laughs>